Uh, Mara Amucci, um, a week ago, Parkrun decided to um, scrap all their times, the graded times, et cetera, et cetera. So what, how has this week been for you? <laughs> well, I've had an awful lot of abuse directed at me, um, mainly from men who have now lost their records and all that data and stats that they love about Parkrun. And it's a bit ironic that previously it was really only women who were losing their records, first female finishes and so on, because of Parkrun's gender self-ID policy. Very few people cared. I and some others were speaking up about it, but we felt we really weren't getting anywhere. And now the men are affected. Suddenly it was on the news at 10. It's been in the press every day. Um, it's been quite a big story. People have cross petitions have been launched to try to convince Parkrun to bring back the statistics and data. Um, but the key thing for me is Parkrun have not addressed gender self-ID. They made this decision saying it was nothing to do with self-ID. Their gender self-ID policy continues. So Parkrun is still unfair for all females because any and all males are welcome in the female category. And they've removed a lot of the data, so it's less visible, but the unfairness is still there. And one of the things which is still there is um, your the finishing order. So the results still appear in descending order of speed, um, and everybody gets an age grading. So last Saturday, under the new regime, I found four males participating in the female category, uh, none of them finished first female, but they between them, they pushed hundreds of females down the finishing order. And age grade scores are particularly important because males participating in the female category get massively inflated age grade scores because their times are compared to the female world records. And as a result, they shoot up the age grade rankings. So last week of these four men who were in the female category, Two of them were top age grade at that park run on that day. And that this affects men as well, because men in the male category will be bumped down in the age grade rankings. Um, Sky News, I think, on Saturday morning went down to a park run, and there was a general feeling that piece of people going, I'm not really that bothered, they just come down to Saturday morning and have a run. And likewise... Yeah. A couple of have to be males, you know, in uh, Harlow Park Run, which I, you know, here in Essex, I do. The guy, a couple of guys I spoke to were just very much sort of, oh, I just like to go out on a run on a Saturday morning. And they uh, get the feeling that people like you're spoiling people's fun. You're bringing politics into, are you the person who's bringing politics into what is a, a fun run on a Saturday morning? Yeah. The people interviewed in the Sky clip, I'm not sure they really understood the issue that from the way they were speaking. I'm not trying to destroy Park Run. I'm not trying to stop people enjoying a nice run on a Saturday morning. I think everybody should be welcome at Park Run. What I've been highlighting is that men are running in the female category at Park Run, all allowed by their gender self ID policy. And this is unfair for females because males run on average at least 10% faster than females. So females have been losing records, first female finishes. On more than 150 occasions, males have finished as first female. Uh, in in before they wiped the data, 16 female park run records, that's outright and age group, were held by males. And I just think this is wrong and unfair. And my entire career as an athlete depended on A, fairness, and B, the female category being for females only. You know, had the female category not been female only in my entire life, really, I would have quit sport. I would never have become an elite athlete or a national level or regional level or whatever. So I, th I think fairness matters. And lots of people at Park Run may not care about fairness now because it doesn't affect them. But sometime it might affect them. They might have a daughter who's very good at sport and then fairness will, will matter for them. So I, I follow yeah. um, uh, Professor Ross Tucker, uh, the yeah. science, science of sport. I try and follow him, but, you know, he's intellectually above my uh, pay ability levels. But th is it as simple in many ways as you can have fairness or you can have inclusion? But can you have both? Can you have both? Or he, do you really have on something like this to go on the side of fairness? 
you cannot have fairness for females and inclusion of males in the female category. The two are mutually exclusive. The entire purpose of the female category is to exclude male advantage. In running, it's about 10%, but it's much greater in things like jumping, throwing, punching power, it's 162%. So the entire point of the female category is that it excludes males and male advantage. So if you bring in males, it's no longer the female category, it's a mixed sex category. And so many people just don't understand this, which I find really baffling. And the fact that fairness for females and males in the female category are mutually exclusive. This was the key conclusion of the most important document on this issue in the UK, which is the UK Sports Council's Equality Group report, which came out in September 2021, so quite a long time ago now. And yet here we are still with males in the female category at Park Run and loads of other sports in the UK. Do you worry? I've seen you on GB News, Talk TV. Um, do you worry? You know what's coming here. Don't you? Um, yeah. Do you worry your your campaign is sort of, are these comfortable bedfellows, the right wing being comfortable bedfellows? And and then on the other side, something like the Guard, I've only seen one article in The Guardian which is more or less pointing fingers anybody when more or less it comes across as your view is a transphobe. It's, it's a real sort of left and right argument here as well, isn't there? I don't think this should be a left and right argument. This is about fairness and safety for females in sport. Whether you're left or right wing is irrelevant. This is about fairness and safety for females. Um, and most of the people, the key people defending fair and safe sport for females in the UK are left-wing feminists. I myself, my whole life, have been a left and centre-left voter. I have never voted for a right-wing party. Um, and when I first started paying attention to this debate a few years ago, and I saw what was happening to women, women's rights, female-only single-sex spaces. I was sh shocked and horrified. And I thought, well, what are the you know, people in public life saying about this? And I thought, well, it's women's rights. So people on the left, politicians in the Labour Party, left-wing journalists, the left-wing press, surely they'll be on the side of women. And I went looking and I found all of them on the other side. And I felt absolute betrayal and like I was abandoned. So I thought, well, who is defending us? Let me look. And I found people like Donald Trump Jr., the Daily Mail, uh, GB News, the right wing politicians. And well, I was quite shocked by this as well. <laughs> but frankly, I thought, well, if they're the only people who are going to defend women and our, you know, our need for female only single sex spaces, so be it. I'm going to speak to them. And frankly, shame on the left for throwing women and girls under the bus. And we've seen lots of left-wing politicians saying, you know, Keir Starmer said it's wrong to say only women have a cervix. You know, only women have a cervix is a statement of fact. It's not an opinion or transphobic. It's just a statement of fact. So I hope, I, I gather there is movement in the Labour Party on this issue. Um, and I, I sincerely hope that they they start to defend more women and girls and our need for single sex spaces. And believe me, any politician that comes to my door ahead of the general election, I'll be asking them what is a woman and, you know, do women and girls deserve fair and safe single sex sport? Yes, the Labour candidate for Harlow does the park run as well. So I'll be sure to pass on your questions to to him uh, when the when the time comes. Um, I did, I did the real spokespeople in many ways. I can you know I know that there's runners who uh, female runners who do Harlow park run. I can talk about Terry Terry Wiley. You know, twelve years of age, thirteen Kent cross country champion. Didn't run for a long time. Children and and then has gone from and this is what Terry has documented on her own Facebook. Twenty comes back in 2019, 27 minutes, twenty six minutes. 22, 21. And, now, and she sort of thought, hold on a second, they've all gone. And I worked really hard for this. And, and, and or yeah. Kelly Burgess, another runner, you know, 2015, becomes a marshal at the park run thinking, this is good. And you can see her times. And now they've all gone. And she's put the petition, the change. But these are the true spokeswomen, aren't they, for, for park run and fairness? 
Yeah, I mean, fairness affects women at all levels. You know, it's not just elite athletes or former elite athletes. You know, women like you've just described, they they care about their achievements. They might never be first across the line, but they might win their age group. They might be top 10, top 20. These achievements matter. And, you know, I think what Parkrun should have done is fix the gender self-ID policy, by which I mean replace it with sex at birth categories so that it was fair and then they could have kept all that data of course they say they're not a race so all that data really showed that it is in fact a race so there was that sort of contradiction there but you know the gender self-id and therefore unfairness continues everybody's lost those records and whatever that they built up over many years and were proud of. So they're cross. So I, I'm not really sure that Parkrun have made anything better by what they've decided. And they claim that people who have not registered or not participated in Parkrun are put off by the website and all the data and stats. Well, you have to look quite carefully to find all that stat, all those stats. Also, the, the, the results in descending order of speed are all still there. Um, and, yeah, it's it, why they've done this is, is just a bit baffling to me. And I wonder if they've ever even asked themselves the question, will women and girls be put off by men in the female category at Parkrun? Well, almost certainly the answer is yes, at least some will, if they're aware of it. But they don't seem to care about that. All they seem to care about is that, you know, this claim that newcomers will be put off by all the stats. Where do you think we're going with this? Where do you think we might be by, in a month's time or by the end of the year? Do you hope there will be a resolution to this? Well, my wish is that Parkrun get rid of gender self-ID and adopt sex at birth categories. Whether they'll do that or not, I don't know. They did review their gender self-ID policy last year and decided to continue with it. So, you know, all that unfairness for women and girls and a little bit for men, they were aware of that. They reviewed the policy and they said, yes, let's continue with this. So that to me is, I, I can't explain it. So bit, given that, I think they probably will continue with gender self-ID, unpopular though it is. Um, who knows? I thought they might have done a U-turn by now, but they haven't. Um, I suspect this may all be to do with money. And we've not heard peep from any of the sponsors, to my knowledge, of Parkrun. Uh, so if they get asked questions, you know, do you support unfairness at Parkrun? Um, then there's a the question of they, they've had a lot of money from Sport England, including to increase female participation. Well, under gender self-ID, they don't collect any data on females and how many females are registering, running, whatever, because any man can say he's female. So to me, they shouldn't really have had that money because they don't know how many females are at park run or running. So there are all these questions which still need to be resolved. Um, has it, in conclusion, has it put you off going down to Park Run at all? You, you, I imagine you have a local one, or you know, do you feel people? Are you aware of people looking at you and thinking, oh, or can people go, oh no, it's Mara? Or are you still happy to? And would you encourage people to? Because um, you're very welcome to come to the Harlow Park Run, um, but you're still going to do it. To be honest, I've, I've been very put off Park Run. Uh, the abuse and intimidation and vitriol hurled at me, I found absolutely shocking. And I've th this is all online. And I've thought, if I show up at Park Run, I'm going to get that for, in real life. A lot of people have been supporting and defending me as well. So perhaps, hopefully, some of those people would defend me in real life as well. But also, I think the message from Park Run by getting rid of all the data is competitive runners who aspire to improve are no longer welcome. The, the, the CEO, Russ Jeffries, did an open letter two days ago in which he said everyone is welcome at Park Run. 
but I, as a female who suffers unfairness, I, I don't feel welcome. I, I basically have to accept unfairness if I want to do park run. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, the abuse that's come my way, you know, one, as time goes by and hopefully that dies down, I may change my mind. But at the moment, I feel I feel put off. Uh, thank you for your crusading on behalf of... of I, I speak on behalf of myself and, and many runners I know, and, and please, please continue your campaign. It's very important. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't want people to think what I'm doing is a crusade. Because all I'm doing is speaking up for fairness for women and girls. You know, this this shouldn't be necessary. Um, so, you know, people people may think I'm some kind of fanatic asking for something very unreasonable, but but that just isn't the case. All I'm asking for is fair fairness for women and girls as men and boys get.